So we are here in Manchester, um, the Park Inn Hotel, uh, opposite the Phones for You Arena with Alexander Krasuk, uh, manager at K2 Promotions. Um, you are here today, well you weren't going to be here, but uh, yeah, you were going to end up being here with um, Ustinov uh, versus Fury, a late replacement for Derek Chisora, who Ustinov was training with. Uh, right. What a manic week it's been for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, we start from the very beginning a uh, friend of mine who's a uh, matchmaker, uh, Jason, he called me and asked whether Ustino can be a, a sparring partner for Chisora. Uh, we made all the paperwork, uh, opened the visa for him and for his trainer and they moved. Uh, and then something went wrong and uh, in one of the sparrings, as I was informed, uh, Chisora was injured. Hmm. and he had to pull out of the fight. Uh, again, Jason gave me a call and said that to some, for some reason Chisora had to pull out and uh, whether Ustino will be able to, uh, to be a, re a late replacement to, to, to take the fight. I talked to the fighter, but I was pretty sure he, he is a you know, confident guy and he's always in good shape mm. and he had some sparring. He didn't have much sparring, it, it went like 15 or 13 rounds on yeah. uh, But still he was in good shape and uh, he showed it at the, the weigh-in yesterday. Uh, it was his probably the lowest weight in his career. Mm. He, he weighed like uh, 128 kilos. So, uh, we discussed the conditions and uh, we took the fight and that's why we are here. Mm. It's the first part. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the second part, the second part uh, happened this night. Mm. Yeah, when, you know, when Tyson had to pull out. Mm, definitely. And, um, I mean, Tyson, f we're hearing it's a family issue. Um, his uh, uncle is um, really ill in hospital. Is yes. what the press release said. Yes. Um, is that something you feel is uh, the case? Of course, when uh, somebody from your relatives mm. feel bad, you feel bad. It's, mm. it's natural, it's normal. And uh, uh, our, uh, our thoughts are with this gentleman who is his uncle. Uh, I wish him soonest recovery, good health and never be an ambulance. Uh, from a professional side, mm. I see it as follows. Uh, it was, I think, Mike Tyson who said, if you are a professional, that means that work should be done to mm -hmm. the end. Uh, and uh, uh, if you, it, it doesn't matter who you are, a boxer, uh, I don't know, a fireman or whoever. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are the professional, you must do your job. Mm -hmm. If a policeman or fireman says, oh, you know, something went wrong in my family, so I will not chase uh, this uh, cr criminal or I will not uh, uh, f you know, struggle with the fire. Mm. It won't look good. Mm. That's, that's, my, uh, that's what I think. Mm. Used to know, he, he's a very polite guy, yeah. but he, uh, he treats it a bit harder. Mm. Uh, he said after the way in yesterday, Listen, I looked into his eyes mm. and he did not look confident, mm. not at all. I feel like something might go wrong mm. and that's what, that's what went wrong. Mm. I'm not the one to criticize mm. Tyson, he's the boxer and it's his decision. But I read some comments in, uh, on British websites. Yeah. And he's losing a lot mm. taking that kind of decision. I understand it won't be an easy, easy fight for him because Cristino mm. is in good shape, he's looking good. But Tyson uh, saw a guy who is a bit taller than him, yeah. and a, a big, uh, like 10, 10 kilos over. And, and obviously someone that was taller than he would have been sparring because Derek Chisora is a smaller opponent as right. well, so he wouldn't right. have been preparing for a right. large opponent. Right. But Ustino sparred David Chis uh, yeah. Eric, uh, Derek Chisora as well. So, mm. And Ustino took the fight only four days yeah. before. So it's, it's not the excuse for him. Mm. Anyway, 
It is what it is. Yeah. And I mean, Fury um, in the press conference, uh, he was saying he wouldn't pull out of a fight. He would go into a fight blind. And uh, what, what did you make of that? And him pulling out now and then. What, what did you make of his antics? Um, not just in the build-up to the Shizora fight, but um, at the press conference on uh, Thursday and at the weigh-in yesterday. You know, Vladimir Klitschko, when his beloved trainer Emmanuel Stewart passed away. Mm. He passed away just several days before the fight. Mm. And Vladimir took his fight mm. and he won. He devoted his victory to his trainer who passed away, but he is the professional. Yeah. And I think uh, at this time uh, Tyson was uh, talking too much about Klitschko, about other boxers, uh, and he has to you know, to take responsibility now mm. for his words. And he failed. Mm. He had to take it, but he failed. And um, I think uh, even if he uh, uh, approaches Klitschko again with mm. some, I don't know, whatever uh, he, he wishes to say, Klitschko will have all the rights to tell Tyson. Mm. You shitted your pants in front of Ustino. Mm. How can you challenge the world title with uh, undisputed champion, and he will be 100% right. Mm. That's what I think. Okay. <sighs> Regarding, you know, in England, boxing is different. Mm. It's different. Boxing is different in uh, different countries. In the United States, for example, in Germany, in yeah. Ukraine, uh, it's different. But it's sports, mm. and sport is, is boxing is the sport where two guys come into the ring and fight, and the one who wins is the winner, mm. <laughs> and the one who loses is, is not the winner. Uh, and uh, we had a lot of media stuff, mm. but unfortunately we're not going to have sports, mm. and uh, I do regret about that. And um, both uh, building up to the fight, I spoke to both fighters, um, I think at the first press conference when this fight was announced, and of course the, the winner between Fury and Chisora was going to become mandatory for Vladimir's uh, title. Um, both said that if they won, they didn't see Klitschko fighting them. What, what do you have to say in response to that? Uh, well, if he is the mandatory, mm. It's not Klitschko who decides mm. whether he fights the mandatory or not. It's uh, the uh, sanctioning body. Mm. The, uh, the board uh, decides this is your mandatory and you have to fight him within, I don't know, one to 120 days. Yeah. And that's it. That is the rule. And you have com to comply with the rule. Otherwise, uh, you, will be, you, you will have to relinquish the title. Mm. That's the rule. And uh, uh, brilliant champions, mm have to respect the rules. Yeah. That's how it's going. And I hope that, uh, I don't know, you know, uh, it, it's not a matter of, of, of two months to fight mm. Klitschko. But uh, if you are a mandatory, you wait your time yeah. and you go ahead. No, definitely. And when, when um, moving on to Vladimir, when, when are we likely to see him back in the ring in action? Vladimir? Yeah. He, he's fighting on the 6th of September with uh, Kubra Kulu, mm. who is besides yeah. the mandatory mm. in the IBF. And he won Ustinov yeah. in the elimination fight. And now he's fighting Vladimir. Mm. It's simple. Mm. And do you think we can see Vladimir um, out in action after September, uh, later on this year, or will it be uh, his next fight be um, the start of 2015? Well, it's difficult to say. It, it depends upon himself, upon Vladimir. He is the champion, and he is the one to take decisions when it's appropriate time for him to fight. Yeah. And uh, it also, you never know how the fight goes. Mm. You may have some injuries. You may have whatever. Yeah. May happen. Uh, so. I think the plan, might, uh, the plan might be announced after after the the work is done, after the, mm. the, the, the fight. No, definitely. And um, I mean, in terms of both brothers, uh, Vitali and Vladimir, they've both been involved in um, politics and uh, with um, everything that's going on in Ukraine at the moment, especially with uh, Vitali. Um, yes. Well, what what is the, their situation with the goings on in Ukraine? Yes. Yeah, so both of them were uh, involved, but Vitali is. Uh, political leader. Mm. He is the leader of a big, big party, uh, which is uh, represented in the parliament, 
uh, he was now elected the mayor of the capital of uh, Ukraine and the uh, uh, local parliament mm. uh, he got uh, all over 50% of uh, seats uh, Vladimir just helped Vitaly in his yeah. career he is not yet involved in politics mm. uh, Vitaly was very successful uh, he had you know he had his uh, he was the leader of mm. uh, before the presidential elections he was the leader in ratings and uh, he's still well-known person and uh, well-respected person. Um, but um, Ukraine now suffers not the, the best times. Mm. You know, this aggression from East and uh, uh, people are dying and that's, that's the worst thing that mm. might happen. Uh, and, uh, you know, for any reason, people should not die mm. and uh, the politics they should take the right decisions to stop the war mm. and to negotiate to negotiate and to take the right decisions so people could be happy okay. that's uh, and Vitaly is uh, that kind of politician mm. he is uh, you know he spent a lot of time in Europe yeah. as a boxer as a businessman mm. he knows how, uh, how he knows uh, you know how, how to conduct the business in a right way mm. when the word means the word and it's kept uh, of course uh, we have some good things and bad things mm. Europe has good things and has bad things Eastern Europe has good things and has bad, thing, uh, bad things uh, the right thing is to take only best things from ever and mm. to to combine it and, and that that is that that is uh, how successful people do no, definitely. and is Vitaly um, just solely um, focusing on the politics side of the thing now could we ever see him a uh, step back in uh, between the ropes <sighs> maybe he, he will step between the ropes mm. <laughs> <laughs> on uh, September the 6th mm. uh, because he's usually in his brother's corner yeah uh, but he's so busy mm. with uh, trying to make uh, life for Kiev easier and mm. better. He's so busy with that that I doubt he will have health enough health and uh, <laughs> you know and, and time and whatever to uh, to fight. No, definitely. And uh, go going on to um, again Vladimir and some potential opponents. Uh, apart from. Uh, uh, Chisora and Fury. Um, British boxing is, uh, especially the heavyweight scene, we've seen the likes of Anthony Joshua coming up. Uh, David Hay is apparently um, going to come back into the ring. Um, do you think these are potential opponents um, for Vladimir in the future? And uh, what, what have you made of uh, the likes of Anthony Joshua coming up and his progression and David Hay coming out of retirement again? Uh, I can say that uh, Joshua, uh, he is, first of all, he is a successful amateur. Mm. I can say we have also on the contract uh, London Olympic champion in cruiserweight, mm. uh, Alexander Yusik, mm. and he's making uh, considerable progress. Though he had only four fights, he is now ready to, to, to face the best mm. cruiserweight. Uh, I've been watching Joshua coming and he has a good big potential. Yes. The only thing all newcomers lack is uh, the experience. Mm. So before he comes into the ring with uh, big champions, he has to, to spend uh, some certain amount of rounds in the ring yes. fighting a good opposition, mm -hmm. decent opposition. And that will make him strong, mentally strong, mm -hmm. physically he's strong. Uh, regarding David Hay, there was a fight between Vladimir and David Hay. Mm. Nothing left unsaid. Everything, mm. everything was uh, shown in the fight. So, if spectators, if fans want to watch it, then of course mm. the fight might have chances to uh, to happen. If not, then I don't think so. With Chisora, uh, it was, uh, you know, and not pleasant accident mm. uh, incident when Chisora uh, when Vladimir had to pull out of the fight yeah. this uh, the week before the fight because of his uh, kidney mm. troubles and uh, he had to fight Chisora then but Vitaly they made his job yeah. <laughs> late, a bit later but still I res you know I respect the style mm. Derek is not the one to 
to be scared of his big tall mm. guy in front of him. That's that's what I can say about Derek. And uh, with Tyson, everybody thought that Tyson could be the third heavyweight from Britain mm. to dispute at least something in the world. But uh, a lot of people might change their mind after after this uh, decision. No, I think so. Definitely. And in terms of uh, your role at K2, what, could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, well, we have the K2 in Ukraine, mm. we have K2 in the United States. Yeah. My colleague Tom Loeffler, uh, he runs K2 in the United States. Mm. He has Olaf Alabi, he has uh, Golovkin and some other boxers. Uh, I run the same K2 in Ukraine. Mm. So we have Yusik, we have Yustino, we have Bizangurov. We have uh, other Bursak and uh, other good boxers. Mm. Uh, so we, that's that's probably, I run it in Ukraine and uh, Tom runs it in the United States. Mm. That's that's how it's about K2. Mm, definitely. And uh, of course, uh, doing this for uh, Seconds Out, this interview, uh, the owner of Seconds Out, Robert Waterman, you've done some shows with him. Uh, what, what has it been like working with uh, Robert? Robert is an old friend of mine. I mean, he's not old, but he is a friend of mine yeah. for a long time. Uh, I, I came to boxing in 2005 and he was probably uh, one of the first people I met in boxing. Mm. We had some dozen of shows, uh, some, uh, some shows we made together, some shows we just helped each other mm. uh, with the TV in, in Britain, in Ukraine. Uh, I know him for for a long time, and uh, I have uh, I have some business in London. And last time I was there for the business trip, uh, of course I couldn't help myself visiting uh, my mm. friend Robert. So he invited me to his place. I don't remember the name of, of, of the of the street, but uh, yeah. I like I like the neighborhood in Totteridge. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really like the neighborhood. Uh, and of course, uh, secondsout.com is, uh, I don't know, he started this project so, so, maybe six years mm. or, or seven years ago. And, and he seems really, really successful mm. on YouTube and yeah, when, I, when I need to know something special on British boxing, yeah. First way, uh, first side I go, uh, I print secondsout.com. Yeah, and do do the brothers, do uh, Vitaly and Vladimir, do they get their boxing news from uh, Seconds Out and watch the videos? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I tell you why, because uh, Vladimir and Vitaly, they are not uh, chasing boxing news. Mm. You know, uh, I have I have to chase it because this is a uh, part of, of my job, yeah. my business. Uh, I need to be to know what's going on. Mm. Vitaly needs to go to know what's going on in politics mm. in, his, in his country and now in his uh, city that he's managing. Yeah, no, definitely. And in terms of working with Robert, um, do you think we could see shows at um, K2 Promotions and Robert Waterman put together again um, yeah, coming up? Uh, there are some shows under discussion and uh, we plan to have uh, we have plans some plans at the middle east mm. uh, we have uh, some plans uh, here uh, in uh, uh, in uk and uh, robert brought his guys uh, to ukraine on our shows mm. and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do in the future definitely and do you think um, like we could see uh uh, Vladimir on one of those shows and what how, how do they hopefully <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you know uh, Vladimir is undisputed champion mm. uh, he he used to have uh, two three fights per year mm. and he's uh, 37 already yeah so he's not gonna fight till he's 70 mm. so, so there are gonna be some day when he would have to uh, to to quit boxing mm. Uh, as a boxer, as an active boxer. But uh, before that happens, I'm pretty sure we will have a chance to to cooperate with Vladimir, mm. not as the co-founder of K2, yeah. but Vladimir as the uh, champion, undisputed heavyweight champion mm. of the world. Uh, that's great. Thank you so much for your time, Alexander. It and was my pleasure. Enjoy the boxing tonight. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>